A sellout crowd on their feet singing for their Giants. A dream come true for players and fans, especially in 2014 when the team won the World Series. It's, it's amazing, and it's, especially as a rookie coming up, to accomplish you know things that people that have played for 15, 16 years, and the only thing they wanted was a World Series. To do that in my first year, um, just an epic roller coaster ride. Well, thank you. Today, fans are still looking up to him and lining up for his autograph. But now, it is for his hometown team. I've said all along, uh, Sacramento's you know where I'll be forever. I just love it here, and um, it sure is nice to know that I have a whole city behind me. Las Vegas 51's pitcher Chasen Bradford can relate. He grew up as a bat boy for the Vegas AAA team and said it can be stressful. I think there's a lot more pressure actually. Um, you're comfortable there but then again the expectations from people there are a lot higher than what their regular would be. Andrew is a team player coaching first base and giving advice to his teammates but he is currently recovering from a wrist injury. You know, it's been tough. Um, going into spring this year, I felt really good and I was really positive and had a little flare-up happen um, within the first two weeks, which kind of brought me back down to reality a little bit. It's right here on this field where Andrew is perfecting his game in order to get back into the major leagues. I had to pump the brakes as far as playing goes, but um, as far as mentally goes, I'm fine and I just am looking forward to being healthy again like I was in 2014. And, and show them what I could do. From AT&T Park and thousands of Giants supporters to Rayleigh Field and the River Cats team mom, fans are thankful for Andrew's generosity. It's actually been really cool. We got to watch him last year and I have pictures of my daughter with him and we have his autograph on baseball cards and baseballs and stuff, so it's really cool to watch. Andrew tells kids who are hoping to follow in his footsteps to stay focused on their dreams. Just just work hard and your dreams will come true. I've been told that since I was young. Reporting for WCTV 19 with photographer Michelle Masson, I'm Hannah Morrison.